one of Kyler Murray's former teammates, Patrick Peterson, he said that Kyler wasn't going to sit around and wait for the Cardinals to put the team in a position to be successful. Now, Kyler responds, social media, I want to win Super Bowls, plural, with the Cardinals. AZ is home. Hmm. Mm. So Kyler deletes all of his Instagram, uh, all the Cardinals off his Instagram cell, and then Kyler Murray puts it all back, and then Kyler Murray says he wants to win Super Take Bowls, plural, with the Cardinals. How does Kyler come across after that latest tweet? Like a chicken with his head cut off. Let's talk about this. I'm about to have some life lessons with my man Kyler Murray. I hate for somebody to mess up their money, mm. and he is messing up his money. Too much spin, a lot of spin this offseason, and it's starting to spin out of control. <sighs> To be declared, to be thought of, revered as a franchise quarterback, you got to understand the responsibilities that come with that. And I don't think Kyler Murray understands that. He wants the money that comes with being a franchise quarterback, but right now, I don't see the responsibilities. Good. These are billion-dollar-plus franchises, all of them. And if we're going to give you the keys to our franchise, we can't have eight-year-old problems. Mm. Such as, oh, I don't like how you're making me feel privately, so publicly I'm going to now cleanse my account of you. Like, we don't know who you play for. You've been there for three seasons, and this is the thing that he's really messing up. In the pursuit of his capital, the money, he's messing up the human capital. Now, I'm talking to a guy who has a team. You told me you have a team, and I know some of the people on your team. So let's just say you have employees, mm -hmm. and you have a pen and a checkbook. And that's your ultimate power. And if your employee is doing their job, you're happy to grab that pen and let it meet that checkbook and write the numbers that they deserve. When that same employee is doing their job, but all of a sudden start popping off a little bit too much, start giving you a little bit of lip, you start thinking about how this world keeps spinning with or without them. Mm. You start thinking about, you know what? I'm a little reluctant to put this pen to this checkbook and give you exactly what you want because you're messing up the human capital. Never forget, Whoever's holding that pen is a person who does not want to be chin-checked, left and right, dragged through the mud unnecessarily, especially when you're the same player, even though I think of you as a franchise quarterback, who has a losing record as a starter, even though you're the same player who has been sacked the fifth most times in the NFL since you've been in the league. So that means we got to address other issues other than you, how you act in offseason. 19th in passer rating since you've been in the league. Mm. Teddy Bridgewater and Gardner Minshew got you, homeboy. Ooh, ooh. Passing yards for attempt, Ryan Fitzpatrick got you. Ooh, ooh. Passing yards for game, Jared Goff got you. Ooh, ooh. Here's the thing. There's two sides to a coin. And never forget and never lose sight of the other side because you're going to make them all of a sudden lose sight of your value. That's good. Kyler Murray looks confused. Mm. So nobody frustrates me in this world more on social media than the person who scrubs all the pics of their significant other, and then two months later, they post a proposal with their significant <laughs> other. Who is that? Nobody. <laughs> oh, we all got that person. Check deep enough. Y'all know of him. Kyler Murray yeah, looks like that individual mm. who deletes their significant other from their social media and their Instagram page, and then two weeks later, congrats, con surprise, yeah, yeah. we got engaged. Yeah. Wait a second. Which one is it? Yeah. You love him or do you hate him? Which one is it, Kyler Murray? Because just a couple months ago, you wanted nothing to do with the Arizona Cardinals publicly. Ooh. And then two months later, all of a sudden, you want to win Super Bowls, plural, with the Cardinals, and AZ is home for life. The two thoughts do not make sense, and mm. they cannot coincide with one another. Therefore, you either playing us or you're playing yourself. Woo! Which one is it? Because you can't simultaneously love somebody who you hated two months ago. You either didn't hate him then or you don't love him now. Mm. Meaning, Kyler, you either don't want to win Super Bowls with the Cardinals and AZ isn't home for life, mm. or you weren't so disgruntled with them two months ago. Mm. But it's all for show. And I don't want show. I want the truth. So Kyler looks confused because he looks like a puppet, just being moved by the way his agents are telling him to move. Okay, d d d delete all your pictures from your Instagram. Okay, 
Scrub it. It's done. Scrub. What do you want me to do now? Uh, wait a minute. We're gonna Scrub put it. out a statement. Okay, we put out a statement. Put them all back. Okay, it's done. <laughs> what do you want me to do now? <laughs> Come on, Kyler. You look like a confused kid instead mm. of the grown mm. man that mm. you mm. are. That's the only thing I don't like, Cell, is mm. the confusion and the childish antics. Yeah. And I'm talking about the performance, not the performer. I'm not talking about him personally. I'm talking about these actions, boss. And these actions is messing up your money. I'm just telling you. Don't right... the actions dictate the person, no. Because no. you are comprised no. of your actions. No. You can't lie all the time and not be a liar. No. You can't cheat all the time and not be a cheater. Well, he's not doing it all the time. Like, it's been three incidents this offseason, and because he's famous and because he's a franchise quarterback, we're going to take it and run with it. However, like you said, you can't love and hate in two months span? Yes, you can. Get married. Oh, it, it don't even need two months. You need two seconds. <laughs> like, it's a thin line between like, me and my wife. We're at it. And then next thing you know, I love you too. But you I mean, never at really it. hated it. They hated each other. Then. Oh, no. I, you, know, you didn't hear me thinking. <laughs> 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 Let me stop talking about myself and talk about Kyler Murray because he seems like he lost his way. Let me be real. Your agent is the same agent for Cliff Kingsbury. Kingsbury head coach, right? yes, you sir. got the same agent. Guess what? Both of you guys have improved every single year, correct? Yeah. The agent just got paid. Guess what? Stop kicking up dust because two things gonna happen. One, you're gonna choke on your own dust you kicking up. And two, the franchise is not gonna be able to see clearly through all this dust that you're kicking up. So, Kyler Murray just seems like he lost his way, being real. He lost his leader. And people, when you say that, they always think, that leader is outside of you. No, no, no. Wileyism right here. Mark Twain said it. Life's a competition between you and yourself. You hate when I give somebody else credit. You have to stop doing that. What? It is a contradiction. Wileyisms are a mindset. You can't say a Wileyism a wise and Mark Twain said it. Yes, I do. I give credit. Like, you stole my grandma's Wileyism, but you didn't give her credit. And that tweet went viral. She still wants some. I hear you, Grandma. I love you. All right, here we go. Wait, wait. You looking down or you looking up? Well, I know where she physically is, but... <laughs> my baby up there. You stop talking about my grandma. You never met her. You better put some respect on her name. Well, she was gangster. Here we go. Kyler Murray, please understand life's a competition between you and yourself. And you playing yourself, as you said. You lose your leader, and this is what a leader is. To make you do something you don't want to do, and you end up liking it. Kyler Murray, you may not want to sit quietly and let this just play out. You may not want to be the guy who is seemingly not so interested in the Cardinals, but guess what you got to do? Do the right thing, play your cards right, play the game within the game, and ultimately win this situation. But that's what happens in the offseason. I told you this about a week ago. You're around too many weirdos in the offseason. All of us did it. When I played, I was around too many weirdos. Sorry to talk about y'all like that, but it's like that. Because football is uncivilized. In the offseason, it gets real civilized. I'm in a lot of rooms and pool parties and day parties and air conditioning. And everybody starts telling me what I should do. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, would you know what I got to do? Put these cleats on and throw this football. And if I keep doing that, I'll find myself in a better position than any of this.